Hey crew, what's up? It's your boy Bloodshot. Today on Gamers Knows Best, we have the weekly news wrap up. So let's get into some of them hot topics of the week. Our first news story is Platinum Games has announced that the Xbox One exclusive Scalebound has been pushed back to 2017 in order to deliver all the innovative features and thrilling gameplay experiences the team have planned for the game. Scalebound was slated for fall 2016 release, now the game will release in 2017. Following the news that Scalebound has been delayed, Infune's Xbox One game ReCore has also been pushed back to the latter half of the year. Record did not have a hard date for spring of 2016. A spokesperson for Xbox stated, We have not yet set a launch date for Record. However, the game will be ready in the latter half of 2016. This affirms that the game will indeed release this year. Okay, here's my take. Look, video games get delayed. It's the nature of the beast in the gaming industry. In my opinion, if the developer wants to delay the game to make it better, I'm all for it. Sure, it sucks. Sure, we have to wait a little bit longer. But who cares? Give the devs the extra time they need to work on these games. We don't need developers releasing buggy games to the consumers. Yeah, I'm pointing at you, Assassin's Creed, Unity, and Fallout 4. Okay, our next news story, and I'm sure this will come to no surprise to anyone, PSN was down for over 12 hours and in some places even longer. The problems affected almost every part of the PlayStation network. That includes all of Sony's different consoles, the PlayStation Vita, the PS3, as well as the PlayStation 4, and all the various services including the store and online play. The problems have since been fixed and all services are up. There was no official statement from Sony about whether the problems were internal or have been caused from outside sources. Alright, so here's my take on this whole PlayStation Network. Look Sony, you've sold almost 36 million PS4s. I think it's high time you get off your ass and take some of that money and start rebuilding your network infrastructure. People are paying for a piss poor service and they deserve better. It's time for all PlayStation fans to start speaking with their wallets because that's all Sony seems to care about is the money you're putting in their pocket. The next news story, Oculus VR announced this week that the retail version of the Oculus Rift will cost a whopping $599 and pre-orders for the virtual reality headset are now live to, on the company's website. Well, you think that's a lot of money, you'd be interested to know that the headset sold out in 14 minutes. Now, we don't know how many headsets were available for pre-order, but that still has to be exciting for Oculus. On another note, it will be interesting to see what PlayStation's VR price point will be. If this is any indication, it could cost around four to $500. So this is my take on the whole VR thing. After the news broke on social media, it was a complete and utter shitstorm about how much the Oculus Rift will cost. Look, let's get something straight here. This is brand new tech. The price is always through the roof. I don't remember anyone riding in the streets over 4K TVs being thousands upon thousands of dollars. Here is something else for you to think about. Do you ever see what the retail price is for your favorite smartphone? Yeah, six to $700 for those iPhones and Samsung Galaxies. Look people, the tech will eventually become cheaper. We are still a few years away from this tech being in everyone's home. Everyone take a step back and just calm the hell down. Alright crew, this is Bloodshot with your weekly news wrap up. If you like this video, go ahead and kill that like button. And if you thought it was a big steamy pile of crap, well, you know what to do. We really appreciate all your support and as always, thanks for watching.